play of the game. What is going on YouTube, the assist man? I'm coming at you guys with another Overwatch gameplay. And did you guys see the intro to this video? Man, I had one of my best plays of the game, man, with my man, the Reaper. Went ahead and got a triple kill with my ultimate and then finished it up with a quad for the squad with that last big old beast that I had to slap up. But that was the intro, man, and that was a different uh, gameplay. And this is a different gameplay. So let's go ahead and get right into it, man. The gameplay you're gonna be watching, man, is me playing some Overwatch on the Xbox One. Well, my, I guess you could say my favorite class, the Reaper. I like using this guy a lot. I touched base on that in a previous video. And in this gameplay, man, I'm going to start off this game smoothly. Look at these guys trying to spawn trap us, man. And I teleported right behind them to remind them that they can't be doing no bullshit like that and hit them with that triple for my nipple right out the gate. Give me that quad. So anyway, man, what I, the topic I want to touch base on in this game is what I have on the bottom left of my screen right now. My character, or maybe your character's picture, with the blue fire all around it. And what exactly does that mean? You see, in this game, there's a thing called on fire. Your character could go on fire based upon what you're doing in the game. If you're a damage class, that means you're killing a lot of people. You're doing a lot of damage. If you're a healing class, that means you're really, really, really healing a lot of people. You're supporting a lot of people. You're buffing a lot of people. If you're a, a tank class, that means you're taking a lot of damage. You're tanking the damage for your team. That's what it means when you're on fire. It's not like an NBA jam, you know, back in the days when you would just be raining threes and catch on fire and then it actually make your player have a better shooting percentage. Nah, it's nothing like that. You see, what on fire is, is it really is nothing. It's a cosmetic thing. A lot of people thought, or maybe they still think, that once you become on fire in the game Overwatch, that you get something else. That maybe you move faster. Maybe your gun does more damage. Maybe this happens. Maybe that happens. And look at, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my, oh my. We have to watch that one more time. Can we just rewind that and watch that one more time? We need to watch this one in slow motion one more time. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Was that ten or eleven players and things that I took out? Maybe another guy right there. Twelve? Now that right there was the definition of being on fire. That's got to be my craziest kill that I've ever had in this game so far. That was ridiculous. That was seriously ridiculous. I had to stop right here. I was paused. I was like, damn, did that really happen? But anyway, man, let's go back to the topic at hand. Because uh, that was a fiery moment. But being on fire in this game is really nothing. It's all cosmetic. It doesn't give you any more attack speed. It doesn't give you any more movement speed. It doesn't give you any more damage. It doesn't do anything for you to help you out. All it does is if you were to hit the select or the back button on your controller, all it does is when you look and hit that and you look at, you know, the, the scoreboard, or actually there's really not a scoreboard in this game, but if you just look at the player count, the player leaderboard or player thing, um, when you hit the back button and you see everybody's portraits, if you're on fire, all it does is show other people you're on fire. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's dumb. Like, why would they even put that in the game and not actually give you anything for being on fire? And I could actually kind of agree with you, but you have to look at it from this perspective. Is that if you're playing a very competitive game and you hit that back button and you see that one of their or maybe two of the players on the opposite team are on fire because that's what it's for. You could see if the players on the opposite team are on fire or players on your own team are on fire. If you see a player on the opposite team or players that are on the opposite team that are on fire, then that should tell you and your team, hey, those are the guys we need to focus all of our attention on and kill. Because right now, they're doing the most work for their team. 
they are definitely doing the most work for their team, so we have to go ahead and try to kill them and put an end to their fire streak as much as fast as we can because they're doing, they're hurting us the most. So sporadically throughout the game and periodically throughout the game, what you should be doing is checking, you know, that hit that back button, hit that menu and look at the other players on your team, but most importantly on the other team, look at the other players and see if anybody is on fire. If people on the other team are on fire, you guys need to communicate and try to shut those people down that are on fire because that means they're doing the most damage to you and helping their team out the most. So those are the players you need to be helping out or taking care of. So more or less, what the on fire thing basically means is that you're just, you're on fire, you're doing work, you're doing a ton of work, you're getting greasy, but it's not giving you anything extra. It's all cosmetic and it's just letting you and the enemy team know that you are doing work and for your team to help protect you and keep you alive as much as they can because you're the most important player right now. And if you're looking at somebody on the opposing team, it's letting your team know that, hey, maybe we should come together and try to kill this guy because he's really helping out their team if you guys are losing. So anyway, man, you guys seen some of the most incredible plays of the games and kills I've ever had and the game has only been out for a couple days. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And I hope I could explain that to you to the best of my ability. And if you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and look forward to more Overwatch gameplays, man, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tell your friends about me, man, so they can view my videos, they can subscribe to my channel, and then you can help a brother out. So anyway, YouTube, this is the Assist Man. And until the next time, I am out.